Okay, the last uh, the last demo I'm going to do for you folks today. Um, we've got a cumulative compound motor connected now, so still the same machine. Um, we've basically taken this series motor, and in addition to just the plain series windings, we've also put the uh, shunt field winding back in into the circuit. So our with this we get some of the benefits of the sh of the shunt motor you know we still get some speed regulation but we get some of the benefits of the series motor as well i.e. the uh, the high torque so we're gonna start we'll start this up and bring it up to speed for this. This one does a better job at limiting the starting current. So we can bring our voltage up fairly quickly with this one. Um, there we're up to 120 volts. We're at 1746 RPMs, so we'll just adjust the uh, shunt field resistance. Sorry, I went the wrong way. First time I got lucky today, 1800 RPM on the dot. So we got no load on this. Uh, we're running about an amp of armature current. So we're just gonna slowly bring, put some load on this. So we'll take it up to two Newton meters of load. Sixteen fifty five RPM. Four Newtons a load. Fifteen hundred RPM. Six newtons a load, we're at 1883. Uh, eight newtons of load. 1285. And at 10 newton meters a load. Twelve oh three RPM, but notice that our armature current, so our current to this machine, is about seventeen amp, sixteen amp. Sorry, um, which is lower than quite a bit lower than the series motor was. Lo it's lower than the series motor was at this point. Um, lower than the shunt motor was at this point. Um, the speeds come down, but. This motor could we could still load it up further. So we'll take this if we want to take this up until we uh, max out our armature current. We're up to almost 30, so 15 newtons of a load. I can't run it very long, or it pops our bench bench fuses. 
pull the load back off of that. Yeah, 1800 RPMs. 